Hello everyone, it's PC Alpa here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix anti-cheat error for the game Valorant with the help of few simple steps. All you have to do is watch this video till the end and follow each and every step very carefully and you'll be able to fix this problem. So just before starting, hit the subscribe button below for regular gaming updates related to this game and many other games. So let's get started. So for just like every other error, the first fix for this problem is also same that is clean booting your PC. And I highly recommend this because it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. It is a really quick guide on how to clean boot your PC. So first clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. Now let's come to the second step. It's again a really important one. In this one, you have to search for services and open this services app. Or what you can do is, you can go to your run command box by typing windows plus R key on your keyboard and type services.ms and press enter. And once you do it, you will be redirected to this page. So here type V on your keyboard and look for VGC. And here it is VGC. Double click on it and startup type is manual by default. All you have to do is select automatic, apply these settings, click on OK and restart your PC and most probably your problem will be fixed but if it's still not fixed follow the third step and it will be surely fixed in the third step all you have to do is just right click on your Valorant game shortcut and go to its properties in properties go to compatibility and in compatibility select disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator apply these settings and click on ok and once you have done so make sure that you have installed DirectX and if you have not installed DirectX in your PC you can just search for download DirectX and go to this first link by microsoft.com and you can simply download DirectX from here if you have not installed it on, or it on your PC. So click here on download and its setup will be installed and it's really simple to install. So once you have installed it, again restart your PC and most probably your problem will be fixed. If you are still having this issue, write in the comment section, I'll try to help you out. And if you like this video, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content. 